Because when you're a child, mm -hmm. you have a summer vacation and then you go to school and a summer vacation and you go to school. And it's this pattern that just keeps repeating from your childhood perspective. As a mom, every year brings these huge mm -hmm. transitions and you describe huge. some really big ones. And it takes a constant flexibility and acceptance, mm -hmm. right, of what is. There is. And I think we that was a thought I shared with parenting contributor Heather Johnson on the show a few weeks ago. You saw my tissue waving like a banner. We were having this pre-Mother's Day chat that turned quite tender. I'm especially starting to feel that way now, though, as the start of summer approaches. We enter another phase of transitions and endings. So the end of high school for some, college starting for others, even the end of second grade at my house can feel really big. Well, my next guest says all endings matter and it's important to validate, recognize, and celebrate them. Host of KSL Radio's Inside Sources, Boyd Matheson is here to talk this out, the importance of endings. I love that we're celebrating the bow because so often the start is the fanfare, yeah. right? The new beginning is what we rally right. for, but you say endings deserve that too. Yeah, endings matter in a, in a big way. This is something that I learned from my dad. Tell us. Uh, so I'm I'm number eight of 11 children, uh, and our home was always the party place, yeah. whether it was a neighborhood gathering, a family gathering, and all that was great, great beginnings, awesome food, wild time. Yeah. But for my dad, the ending was what mattered the most. It was never enough for him to just sit on the couch and say, hey, see you later, or even you know, shake a hand at the door. Uh, he would walk you all the way out to your car, oh. make sure you were in, door closed, yeah. and he would stand on the curb and wave you goodbye. Because the ending matters. Uh, and uh, he was also a, a great lover of music. Uh, I remember falling asleep at night listening to him play Rhapsody in Blue and Claire oh. de Lune, and he practiced that uh, until he passed away. He would play that. Um, but the endings matter. He would always compliment pianists in particular for their touch mm -hmm. because it was the end of the note that was just as important as the beginning of the, the note. When the finger leaves that key. Yeah, uh, and so just that, that nice touch. And so all of those endings matter, and whether it's school, whether it's a lifetime, yeah. uh, we even learned that before my dad passed away. Uh, the endings matter. Uh, he was not supposed to make it through the night at the hospital, mm -hmm. uh, but he was determined to have his ending, uh, and he ended up being back at home, had some wonderful days with children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren uh, because the endings absolutely he did matter. He the ending his way. But you think mm -hmm. of that simple act, it sounds like it became a ritual at your house of just walking mm -hmm. from the door to the car, like yeah. the very last step. And you describe the, the, the tone or the touch yeah. of a finger leaving a key. That's the touch that he brought to those relationships, yeah. right? To close the door physically, Yep. but to leave that mark at that ending point. Yeah, exactly. And, and often it was that, that those very last moments, you know, very last getting to the car. Uh, I remember when we were first married and very poor, you know, he'd often yeah. slide a $20 bill into my jacket pocket. You know, good, good dad. dad. Or he'd give a little bit of advice or he'd ask a, a poignant question uh, just to make sure that we're okay yeah. and that we know that uh, there's good stuff still ahead. I mean, here we have all of these graduates, right, who are finally yeah. getting a celebration <laughs> after many yes. years. Yes, the, the other classes didn't get, darn it. But they're... <laughs> They're throwing these parties, and parents are probably getting tired of the, well, this is the last this, or this is the last that, and the celebrations seem to drag on. But I think the, this idea of, of worthy endings kind of puts a stamp on a worthy celebration, like to rally right. around these grads and other people experiencing chapter transitions in a meaningful way. Yeah, th those endings are so significant. Again, an, an end of a school year can be such a, a powerful moment uh, if you do it properly. Uh, if all you do is kind of go through the motions of parties and things like that, uh, you might miss the more important ending, yeah. uh, which is taking the time to go with that, that graduate of the high school or college grad to go back through and validate some of those significant things, highlight some of the challenges that they experienced along the way uh, and why this is such a, a significant portion to it. Uh, and also using that as a way to propel them forward, mm -hmm. uh, I think is really important. You talk about second grade endings uh, being tough. <laughs> yeah. uh, my youngest uh, will when he finished second grade, he came home on that last day of school and he was so sad mm. and we couldn't figure it out. What was wrong? What was wrong with that? You know, are you going to miss your friends? Are you worried about this? Yeah. And he said his teacher who had absolutely transformed him was leaving the school. And so he wouldn't see her again, Aww. this significant leader in his life. Yeah. And so I said, okay, 
we're gonna, you know we love baseballs at our yes, house. Yes, you do. So we got a baseball, I said, what if we go back and have her autograph a baseball for you? Uh, <laughs> and so we went, and that was the ending, him and his teacher reflecting on what she had taught him, him sharing what he had learned, and then memorializing that uh, by having her on a baseball. I love that you put action to it, right? Because we had actually a very, very similar experience post-kindergarten, right? The sob yeah. session that yes. I've never seen Mrs. Sorensen <laughs> no. again. I'm like, you're gonna see her at the pool. Yeah, again, I'm sure, I'm sure at the grocery store. But I love instead of just soothing the emotion, which is so easy to do as parents, right? Yeah. To listen and thoughtfully kind of calm, but you took action and put action behind that ending. I think that's something. Yeah, it's important to, to do that and to help them see that this is the beginning of, of a next phase and yes. everything that they learned and experienced is gonna be part of an important new beginning and a yeah. new chapter uh, for them as they try to move it forward. Boyd, you're a busy guy. Your days are jammed <laughs> full. I hear you on the radio, I feel like every other hour. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. the guy. But after those busy days, you say even the ending of your own day can matter and make a difference yeah. in your overall happiness. Yes, the, those endings to the day I think are far more significant than we think about. So start, let's start with our kids. Uh, I know sometimes with our children, it's just if we can get them into bed and yes. stay in bed. Please, after the 10th <laughs> glass a good of thing. water, please. Yeah, that's right, or if you have to use one of those verbs of don't make me, you know, <laughs> yeah. do that. Uh, but those endings matter, and even though often they are hectic, uh, if we can create something special for our children, yeah. uh, and whether it is that story, or whether it's just a reflection, even in the midst of the the 27th ask for a glass of water, right. uh, validating something significant to the day uh, is so important. And then we have to do the same thing for ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, the worst thing any of us do at the end of the day uh, is to just scroll through our social media and mm -hmm. end our day with someone else in control mm -hmm. of the things that we decide matter well said. in our lives. Yep. Uh, and so making sure you set the phone away, put the laptop away, uh, and reflect on reflect on your day. That's important to see where have I been, what went right, what went wrong, what could have been done better. Uh, what am I hopeful for for tomorrow? What am I grateful for? Uh, rather than just kind of that mindless scrolling, uh, that is a horrible ending to the day. We know yes. all the science and everything yes. that it does to your brain. You don't sleep as but well. We still do it. We still do it. Dr. Matt Townsend. <laughs> it was actually on on the show I host for BYU TV, Family Rules. He gave what I thought was a really profound challenge. He said, after you tuck your kids in bed. Tuck your other baby in bed, and he pulled yeah, out the cell phone. Love that. He said, two hours before your own head hits the pillow. Two hours. Now that's that's a chunk yeah. of time. You know, give it the juice, plug it in, <laughs> and tuck it. He had a little Barbie bed, and he tucked <laughs> he tucked the phone in. But I love that idea of giving yourself that window or that runway to just decompress and reflect. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And that reflection is is so important because often we our lives are so fragmented, uh, which is part of a bad ending. If you're going through and just very fragmented, yeah. uh, that's it's not good for your brain. It's not good for your soul uh, in terms of what actually happened during the day and it ends up becoming just a series of mindless scrolling and tasks and to-dos during the day rather than reflecting on what did I learn today? Did I learn something today? Did right. I feel something today? Did I express something today? Did I do something today that made a difference? Mm -hmm. uh, and just having a completely different ending to your day will actually make your tomorrow a little better as well. So well said. So good with your words. It's like you're a writer or a talk show host or something like that. We appreciate it. And really the punchline goal, as, as, you, as you describe it, is to finish strong. Like yeah. finish strong. Yeah. The, the way you end uh, is so important. Yeah. Uh, I often call it the punch through. Uh, sometimes we get very target driven. So we're working on a project. We get to that end and it's the end. But really you have to punch through what is next. Uh, and so sometimes we see that where people will say, well, you know, I'm going to start my exercise program next week. So yeah. I'm going to double down on my ice cream and uh, <laughs> Brownie for tonight, yeah. uh, or we see people in sales and say, "Well, it's the end of the quarter, and nothing's really happening." So I'll, you know, I'll just kind of chill, and then next quarter I'll Look do ahead. it. Or our yeah. kids say, "Oh, next semester I'm really going to get it together," uh, but it's sort of like a relay race. Uh, and if you're standing still waiting for that person to pass you the baton, mm -hmm. you're going to get run over. Mm -hmm. So you got to be running mm -hmm. full steam ahead, so that when that opportunity comes, yes. uh, you are full stride. So you can't wait. So that part of the ending matters because it's this, it's this punch through Momentum. component to it. Yeah, momentum. You're already in motion. You're already running. Exactly. I see this with women a lot, too, as they wait for the next chapter, like yeah. whether that's all kids in school or whether that's yes. this troubled child off the call. Whatever it is, yeah. we're kind of looking ahead to that next chapter, but you're saying start running now so the ending is a little more seamless. It'll, it will make the ending more important. You'll actually find and discover new ways to have the ending you actually want, uh, and it will propel you forward. Uh, and then we also have to change our framing about endings, too. Mm -hmm. Some of us are really obsessed with this Hollywood happily ever after ending. Yeah. Uh, and it's not about happily ever after. Things don't always end the way we like. Mm -hmm. And so just stick with happily. 
uh, not happily ever after, just happily, okay. and the ending will be better. Uh, and the other important thing, you talk about those transition points into yeah. different phases of life. Yeah. And what we really have to remember is what we think uh, appears to be the beginning of the end mm -hmm. uh, is really just the end of a beginning uh, to the next mm -hmm. chapter, and that's where we gotta get. I love that, I love this topic. Thanks so much, Boyd, for the insight you always bring to topics like this. You can listen to Boyd's show, Inside Sources, every afternoon on KSL News Radio.